Hello everybody, welcome back to Thieges YouTube. Pretty much what I do here is I review the most interesting notebooks to come to the PC market. And what I have for you today is, once again, from HP. This is the G4 1215 DX laptop. And this guy carries AMD's latest APU, the A4 Dual Core 3300M APU. He's a 1.9 to 2.5 gigahertz, again, dual core processor, mated to a GPU, which is the 6480G on the very same die. Now, what we're going to see in this video is whether or not he can still game like we all want him to. All right, well, stick around. For those of you who haven't heard, HP has announced that they are not going to continue with spinning off their PC division. This arm of HP brings in a third of the company's overall revenue, but nevertheless, it is the least profitable division. The reason for the change of heart is because HP cannot predict how expensive splitting up the company is going to be, and right now they feel it's best to leave things just as they are. In the meantime, HP seems to be continuing its trend of using AMD's new APUs in the least expensive computers. This laptop, the G4-1215DX, brings a new definition to price-performance ratio. For under $400, you get AMD's new A4-3300M APU with a 1.9-2.5 GHz dual-core processor and the 6480G GPU making up its innards. Then throw in 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a 320GB 5400RPM hard drive, and a 14-inch 720p screen. Then put it all in a light case and call it a laptop. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. As far as I know, the G4-1215DX is only available currently from Best Buy, hence the recognizable batch labels. This one was previously touched by the big box retailer's own Geek Squad, meaning that Norton Antivirus was already pre-installed, most of the bloatware was removed, and a full set of restore discs were made. It also means that all of the plastic packaging was removed from the laptop and the included AC adapter. Also, the battery came installed, all of which takes away from the authentic first-hand unboxing experience. Speaking of the AC adapter, it's tiny compared to all the other notebooks I've reviewed, weighing in at only 65 watts and a longer than average cord length. The weight of the overall package then is very minimal since this is only a 14 inch laptop. The Geek Squad also had to run the first time setup and the name of the laptop was HP. Since the battery life is actually pertinent to the interest of this laptop, unlike any other notebook I've reviewed since the Alienware M11X, I'll go into detail about it. I started a battery test at 20 minutes to 8 p.m. once, using HP's own recommended setting, but after writing this monologue, which took me about an hour, the G4 told me that it was going to last until midnight still, so I got bored and watched 40 minutes of YouTube in 720p. That still didn't kill the battery, so after about a half hour game of StarCraft 2, the battery was drained to about 15%, or 45 minutes left. So what I'd say is that under HP's recommended setting, you'll go for at least 5 hours during internet work use. Let's see what all those holes in the side do. On the front are a couple speaker grills for quote unquote premium sound. On the right we have an unlabeled DVD-RW drive, a USB port, the DC in, and a lock slot. There's nothing on the back, and on the left is the VGA, a vent, the gigabit LAN, HDMI, two more USBs for a total of three, the mic and headphones in, and the SD MMC card reader. Overall, the connections are very simple, and if you're interested in this laptop, you'll have to be happy with just USB ports. And the top is very plain, with an HP logo. Let's see what's under this HP's knickers. Just like the DV6 I reviewed recently, all you can see here is the memory, hard disk, and Wi-Fi card, which is actually more than I expected from a 14-inch laptop, and it is very comforting to know that the G4 will be very eager to accept a memory upgrade. The wireless reception on the G4 is also no different than the DV6, and the range is excellent. The main finish on the G4 is glossy plastic, and fingerprints will accumulate easily. However, thanks to the gray color, they won't be easily noticeable. The keyboard keys do smudge, but only a little bit. The 14-inch screen houses a 720p panel and barely tilts back far enough for use on your lap. The glossy screen has rather narrow viewing angles, but at least the noise of the monitor isn't visible from lower angles like it is on the Lenovo IdeaPad Y560. The keyboard of the G4 functions very well. There will be no missed keystrokes save for the caps lock and left shift keys while you're typing out a paper. There's no 10 key, but I'll let it slide on a 14-inch laptop. 
The keyboard noise does make the laptop sound rather cheap, and already I have a couple keys that are squeaking. Also, I'm still going to complain about HP's function key mapping, as their primary use are still the feature toggles. It will disturb your gaming experience. The touchpad is probably the most pleasant touchpad I've used to date. It will never get in the way of your typing, but it still can be disabled with a double tap to the top left corner. It is much smaller than average, and the texture of the touchpad is that raised type, not smooth like other notebooks. Fortunately, it's not uncomfortable like the graphite finish of the Clevo P151HM1. That being said, the keys themselves are kind of a pain, as they have a smaller surface area and are rather difficult to push down. At least it's not a unibutton. The G4 has two speakers, and they're not too terribly bad. All of the sound spectrum is present, but like the DV6, it's all converted into the mid-range. For example, I can hear the bass in Rage Against the Machines calm like a bomb, it just doesn't sound bassy. Also, the upper range takes a huge hit in the output, and all of the audio is hard limited when the volume is turned all the way up. The headphones experience is, thankfully, average. Luckily, there's no Beats audio in this model to drive up the price, and plugging in external speakers isn't a bad idea. On to gaming. For a sub $400 laptop, you can't go wrong with the G4. If you're just looking for a small laptop with a great battery life that can play PC games, even if they're at the lowest possible settings, then stop watching this review and go find one of these laptops before they're all gone. That being said, the A4 certainly isn't a powerhouse. Indeed, this is the least powerful gaming platform I've ever reviewed, having about the same amount of power as the Nintendo Wii. The CPU itself ranks lower than the least powerful Intel i3 processor. Thankfully, it's not the same story with the integrated GPU, thus giving the gaming advantage to the A4. Because of this little fact, the HP makes an excellent laptop to game with on your lap. It's almost as though the G4 has never heard of the word heat. Sure, it gets a little warm when you're playing StarCraft 2, but not even close to uncomfortably so. The fan noise will also never disturb your gaming use, even with no audio present. A couple quirks you should expect include long load times and plenty of stuttering, thanks to the 5400 RPM hard drive and no dedicated graphics memory. In conclusion, students get a thumbs up, standing ovation, and one hell of a cheeky grin. If you're looking to buy a cheap laptop for your kin this holiday season, or a reasonably priced laptop to ask your parents for, this is it. The lightweight will make this a joy to carry around campus, and the battery life will last you through all of your classes, no sweat. Buy it. Casual gamers get a wary thumbs up. You'll like it for all the same reasons as students, but you should be able to chuck out a couple hundred dollars more for a larger notebook with a shorter battery life and twice the gaming power. Competitive gamer... <laughs> I'm sorry. Competitive gamers... <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea. Desktop replacement seekers have nothing to look forward to with the A4 APU, as the overall system performance will bog down your whole usage experience, and the lack of connections will be a giant burden. Business users can manage with the G4, granted you give it a faster hard disk and memory upgrade. By the time you're done with that, well, you might as well have gotten a different laptop with a Core i3 and more memory anyway. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching my feature presentation of the HP G4 1215DX Casual Gaming Laptop. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, go ahead and post this video on your Facebook, because this guy is the most amazing deal you're going to find for a gaming laptop this holiday season. I guarantee it. If you can find it, it's going to be pretty hard to find, you guys. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. So if you can find them, buy them. Because for 350 bucks, amazing, amazing. Deal? Alright, well, here's the gameplay footage, you guys. Have a good night.